All right, welcome to the third and hopefully final part of the bullet penetration tutorial. So I'm just gonna keep going from where we left off. So again, we did our line trace to figure out the exit location of the bullet. And so we wanna drag off of this and see if we hit anything. And again, uh, this should probably always be true. I can't think of any reason this would not ever, or it would ever not be true. So maybe, it might be a good idea to like print out a little error here in case one day in the future it for some reason doesn't work. But again, I don't. I think the math is set up so that it can't really fail. Um, but yeah, if it does, then this will print out and at least you'll know and you can look at it. But I don't, I don't think it ever will. Um, so assuming it hits something, we want to do. Um, we want to take this and break it again because we want to we want to draw a bullet hole on the back side of the. Um, the wall as well where, where the bullet came out. So let's say, uh, let's call our little spawn bullet hole again and hook this up to true. Um, actually, we don't even need to split this for this part, but we will later. So I'm gonna make a little reroute node and just drag that into here like so. And so this is gonna spawn a, a bullet hole on the back side of the wall. And then the one other thing we wanna do, uh, actually before we do this, is we wanna update our trace start location so that just like we did here, um, I'll draw a new picture because this one's kinda of ugly. So if, if we have all these walls here, so we got a wall, that's not a wall, that's a, I don't know what that is. So we got a wall and a wall and a wall, right? So if we're firing the bullet like this, it's gonna hit this wall, right? And then we wanna basically mark, okay, we hit here and then we calculate the exit position to be right here. And then for our next line trace, we wanna start from right here, right? We don't wanna start all the way back here again because there's really no reason to, we wanna start from right here. And then likewise, it's gonna hit this wall and then we'll say, okay, it came out here and then we wanna do a line trace from here and so on. So that, that's why we're updating the start location. So our new, our new trace start, we'll drag this in and say set. Our new trace start is going to be the impact point for the the uh, exit location, like so. And then just like we did before, we wanna drag this around so that it resets. Um, and so we wanna come back over here and we want it to connect in right here, right before the line trace. So again, we'll make a little reroute node, come back over here and drag this guy back to here. And then again, don't leave it this way because it's really hard to tell what's happening. If you move this down and then make a little reroute node, you can kind of makes it way easier to see what's going on. And again, on this side, something like this. So you can see it loops all the way back around uh, if it should continue to go through the wall. So it does the it does the logic again. All right, um, that might actually be it, unless I forgot something. Let's, let's see here. So if we come over here and we shoot this wall, it goes there and then it comes out, it goes and comes out, goes and comes out. So it comes out and then finally it stops. And so it's stopping because we changed that value to 0 0.15. And let's, uh, let's see for the wood. Oh, my guy's too fat. Hold on. Uh, if you guys don't know this little shortcut, you can control alt and then drag and it will select everything under your mouse. And then obviously I don't want the background. So I'm gonna control left click and left click and then scoot this over. I'm gonna do the same thing for this. Okay. So now if I shoot this guy, one, two, three, and then it stops on the fourth one, that looks good. And one, two, and then it stops there, so that looks good. And then if we shoot one of these guys, it should not go through at all, which it doesn't. So there you go. Um, you can remove the little debug draw lines if you want, but I believe that's the end of the tutorial. So if you enjoyed the video, um, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe. I also have a Patreon link in the description. If you want to support me there, that'd also be awesome. Um, but yeah, see you guys in my next tutorial.